I go. Welcome to Golden of Life. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. What are we? to count because God is ready to count on you let's begin garden of life for Shabbat Midbar now the people is in the desert as, as the children of Israel they're gonna be surrounding the tabernacle and they are going to be taking their places in the north south east and west now you're gonna learn how Hashem wants us to stand each one on each side of the tabernacle protecting, protecting the nation and how we're going to fight against the enemies of Israel. So we're going to learn today the position of the tribes around the tabernacle and you are going to be part of it. Because why? Because Hashem counts on you. For Shabbat Midbar in the desert. But in, in Midbar, the desert. But it's translated as the book of Numbers. Why is it translated in the book of Numbers? Well, because Hashem counts the people. He counts the children of Israel. Okay, He counts each one of them from 20 years and up, ready for battle. And it's raining right now. So, let's do this. The first Parsha, on Parsha Bamibar, oh wow, we have the banners. Let's work on the banners and let's Place the children of Israel with the banner in that position for around the around the Mishkan. The position, let's position the children of Israel around the Mishkan. And what else we have in the box? We have these little soldiers ready for battle. Hashem ordered Moshe to tell Aaron and the children of Israel to gather from 20 years up and ready for battle formation in the desert. Right after Parsha Vaikra. Vaikra, we learn about how to approach Hashem. What are the laws of purification, the rituals? What are the, the, the offerings, the korbanot, everything that we have to learn before we approach or how we approach the king of the universe. So now let's do this together. First of all, let's see what are we working on. This is the tabernacle. This is a model of the area where the children of Israel have to be around the tabernacle. So they were supposed to be, you're gonna grab your soldier if you have your box. It's inside your space. If you have your box, you're gonna find the soldier inside the box. And you're gonna place them around the tabernacle, okay? Of course, in those times, they don't have weapons like this. They have um, bow and arrow, and they have knives. They don't have the weapons that we have now. Oh, here's uh, one of the flags. Um, here is you place them around, okay? The back. All right, and let's work on the banner, okay? Each of the tribes, you're going to open your bag, or if it's very hard to come out. I have, I'm matching with one hand. That's why it's a little hard for me to open it. But let's do this. Okay, what do we have here? Oh, wonderful. So we have each tribe by name. And we are going to begin to work on the, on the flags. And after we work on the banners, we are going to place them in the position where they belong. Let's do this. Okay, so for this one, we have Ruben. Reuben, son of Suri Sadai. Okay, the son of Shideur in here. What do we have here for Reuben? This is very easy, it's fun. I really like this. You ha already have the sticky um, belt, sticky belt or sticky paper in some of your boxes. Um, there we go, it's real fast. And this is what you do for um, the banner of Reuben. Oops, 
the gate <laughs> and then you place it right here right here okay don't worry about this side because it's going to be covered and now these are the flags that represent each blessing or each word that Jacob gave to his children before his death. So with glue, you are going to glue the, the uh, sea or the water. It represented by Reuben. And there you go, you have Reuben, okay? So this will dry up and it will be transparent or clear, okay? So what is our second flag? Let's put them on the side here. And we have Shimeon or Shimon. Shimeon is represented by the city of Shechem, by Shechem. Okay, so why the city of Shechem? Because he and Levi attacked the city of Shechem and they bring them down when they um, mistreat the daughter of Yaakov and they bring down the city. So Shimon is represented by the city of Shechem. Now let's close Shimon. For Shimon, you're gonna have the city and you have the door. Let's do it. So now here we have Shimon, which is Shalomiel, representing the tribe of Shimon, son of Suri Shaddai. And then we put the wall, the door here. There you go, you have it. Now, uh, some of your boxes, you have the flag like this, so that means you can put them around your neck when you finish and then we place it around the tabernacle you can carry it through uh, the work the artwork okay so we have Reuben and Shimeon now we're going to work on Judah who do we have in here we have Judah okay let's do it uh, okay for Judah we have a song song of Aminadab and you have three different layers here see you have something round here well mine is little yours you have a sticky foam like this in my case I'm gonna have to glue it because I think I ran out of sticky foam but you have the same you have the same one I'm sorry I'm holding the foam with one hand that's why it's so hard for me to work with both hands but you can do it oh uh, there you go so this is gonna be for Judah so we can have a nice color in the background and we have the lion Judah the lion. That was one of the blessings that Jacob gave to Judah. So this is Judah. And who's the representative? And this tribe is Nashon, son of Aminadab. There you go, roaring lion. Great. And then you have googly eyes. You have two googly eyes. And I believe I put a nose there for you. So just put the googly eye in one side and then on the other with the glue. Don't worry about the glue being white, then they, it will be clear. The lion is like, oh, I'm waiting for my nose. There you go, there you go. And then I, you have a sticky foam here, and that will be the nose. If you have, if you want, no, it's a choice. If you want, you can color the mouth. Uh, let's put it like this. There you go. or like this no it's like this okay you can up like this there you go so you have judah right here and we are going to place it on this side just to hold it okay so what's next oh we have is a car you have this cool uh you have the sun the moon and the stars because is a car uh oh i have two in here okay so i'm going to use this one it's a car it used to be well known by recognizing, by uh, reading the times and the seasons. Okay, so we have Issachar, and Issachar we have Nathanael. Nathanael, like my son, my son's name is Nathanael. And uh, uh, for this one, we have sticky foam. I believe you have a sticky moon. My daughter, Samira, is going to place the stars. Yay! Thank you, Samira. You're doing a great job. Yeah. Okay, so we have the sun and the moon. I believe you have a sticky phone with the moon. Me, I have to have the paper. I think I run out of paper. Uh, but in the box, it will be with a sticky uh, felt. 
So we have the sun, the moon, and the stars. And this is Netanel Song of Suar. There you go. So we have, we're forming the tribe little by little. Oh, this is after the children of Israel learn all the rulings, all the decrees, and all the commandments. They're ready for battle. They're ready for formation. Hashem is awesome. First, He take you out of a plate of slavery. And then He'll prepare you. He takes time preparing you so you get to know Him. And then when you're ready, then He take you to fight for Him in this world. Isn't that awesome? So each tribe represents something amazing. So you can put as many stars. You can put six, seven stars. Uh, you can put lots of stars. Um, we have little big stars and there you go here we have Issachar okay so we are going to put it on this side and so far we have Reuben, Shmon, Judah and Issachar wonderful so what's our next one is Zebulon, Zebulon the sailor here we have Zebulon we have the waters some of you, I think some of you will have double, so you have to put it, I think so, I don't remember that one. We have a boat. We have uh, this thing. Well, it's supposed to be like a great boat. This one lives around the seashores, representing the one that lives by the waters. And here it is. So it's Zebulun, okay? So let's put it together. I think you have only this sticky form. We have this one. I think the one you have, it has double the water. I'm not sure. I might put it like this. Um, and that's how we do it. That's how we're shooting the picture. And this is what you do with the sticky foam. You lift it up a little bit and you put the boat, right? And then you grab your sticky foam, your sticky tape. Yeah, your sticky cord. This one is a sticky cord. You put the flag in here and then you are going to glue it with the sticky cord, okay? Unless you want to put glue on it, you can do it too. There you go. So here we have Sebulun and the representative is Eliab, son of Elon. Oh, Elon. There you go. There you go. You can do it like this. There you go. Or put it inside the boat if you choose. If you want to. And here we have Sabulon. Now we're gonna place Sabulon here on the side and we repeat the tribes again until you learn it. We have Reuben, Shimeon, Judah, Isagar, Se, 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 Sebulon. And now from the tribe of Joseph, we have two tribes in here. We have Ephraim and Manasseh. So we have here, you have in this little bag, what is the representation of Ephraim? Ephraim is a bull, okay, a bull. And here you have sticky, a sticky foam or a sticky felt, and you have googly eyes, you have two horns, and the nose. Let's build this together. Okay, now that we have it out of the bag, this is my sticky cord here, and I'm gonna put it in the middle. Okay, like this. I'm gonna put the nose. I believe you have the nose like this. You can put it like this or like this, I think. I think it's like this. All right. There you go. You have it like that. Now you have your horns. Okay, let's put it like this. One on this side. And one on the other like this there you go that's looking more like a book yes and then we are going to glue the eyes some of you have like a little smile like this one you can put it like around <laughs> okay let's glue the eyes there you go that's how it looks Ephraim and the representative Joseph Ephraim from Ephraim we have Elishama song of Aminadab there you go don't don't worry about this. This will get clear eventually. And we put our bull here, Ephraim. 
we put them on the side right next to Sebulum. So there you go, we do again. Reuben, Shimeon, Judah, Iskar, Sebulum, Ephraim. Jude, no, Reuben, Shimeon, Judah, Iskar, Sebulum, Ephraim. Okay, great job. Now let's go to our next tribe. What's our next tribe is from the tribe of Joseph. Also, we have Manasseh. Oh, Manasseh. Here we have is represented by that olive leaf or by olives. Okay, so we're, you're gonna take your olive out of your bag and you're gonna glue the olive. In my case, I have, uh, I cut the paper, the olive, like this. Mm, have you tasted, have you tried olive before? They're so delicious. Okay, so we have olive. I have sticky foam as the olive leaf. And this is how I'm going to do it. I'm gonna do it just, I'm gonna put the leaf like this, right? I'm gonna put this leaf like this, like crossing each other. I'm gonna put the leaf like this. And then I, oh, I have another leaf here, like going down. And then I am going to glue my olive, my olives, okay? There you go. Okay, here we have our olive. Okay, I put it this way. Some of you have four olives. I put three olives on this one. And we are going to put it on the side. And again, we sing the song we have. Reuben, Shimeon, Judah, Iskar, Subulong, Ephraim. And now we have Manasseh. Oh, Manasseh, I forgot to tell you who's the representative of Manasseh. Manasseh is Gamaliel, son of Pedazur. Okay? So who's our next? Our next is. Oh, here's the olive. olive. Okay, for olive, you can place the olive like around here. Okay? You can stop the video anytime and just take your time. All right, here we have, we have Benjamin the wolf. Wonderful. So you have a little wolf here. Um, and you have the wooly eyes and the tail. And oh, here, mine is like this here on the back. I have to do this in order to follow. Uh, but yours, you have a wolf. And let's take what's inside and let's place it right here on the corner. Okay, so here we have Benjamin the wolf. It's very sticky. You put him here on the corner. Oh, like a wolf. And look at this, they have a heart shape. And this is actually how it goes. It's supposed to be like this. And for Benjamin, you are going to glue the heart like this. Okay, you're gonna put it right here, like in his face, and then shape the face on top like this. Okay, so after we put the glue, you put your googly eye here, so we see the wolf. Oh, oh. And then we are going to put the tail, okay? So if you see that the tail has like a little flat in here, so you put it right there, like this. Some of you can put it outside the flat like this if you like, but remember that you're gonna have this sticky on the back, so it's better that you put it as closer as you can from the paper, from the banner. There you go, in this case, you have Benjamin. You see I put the tail a little bit on the back here, and the representative is Abidan, son of Gideoni. Gideoni. Okay, so we put it here on the side. Oh my goodness, can't believe we're gonna complete this. Like so we, we have Reuben, Shimeon, Judah, Iskar, Zebulun, Ephraim, Manasseh, Benjamin, and for Benjamin we have Abiram, son of Gideoni, like I said. And now what's our next tribe? We have the tribe of Dan, the tribe of Dan, the tribe of the snake, of the serpent, and the balance. That means the judge. Okay, so let's see what's in the bag. We have uh, two sticky, three sticky foam. Oh, we have three sticky foam um, sticks, and then we have two triangles to form the balance, and we have the snake. 
wonderful let's do this okay so what do we have here i have a sticky cork oh my goodness so this is what we're gonna do we're gonna stop in this okay there you go so we place the thick one on the bottom and then the other stick that is longer and is thicker we're gonna place it on the middle of that one looking like this okay and then we are going to place on the top you can do it like this or you can just leave a little bit of a little bit of of the stick you can make it seem right there okay and what are we going to do now that you have formed like a little T we are going to place our triangles on the side making a balance right here okay it's a sticky foam it's sticky felt too let's open it and put it for our flag okay here for the tribe of Dan you're gonna put on the middle here you can put your snake it's a sticky one represented by the snake and Dan I'm gonna tell you something if your name is Danielle or Daniel now you know what the name Dan Dan means Josh and L means God so if your name is Daniel your name means God is my judge look at this awesome so you have a balance here you have a balance with the snake this is wonderful okay let's put it aside and let's sing our song okay we have Reuben, Shimeon, Judah, Issachar, Zebulon, Ephraim Manasseh, Benjamin, Dan, oh for Dan, who do we have for Dan? And he has her song on Amisha Dai. Wonderful, now we're almost done, oh my goodness, what do we have next? We have Asher, Asher, we have Pagiel, son of Okran, and what do we have in our little bag? It's raining hard, Baruch Hashem, thank God for the rain. So Asher is represented by the tree, by an olive tree actually. I have this one. Maybe your tree is a little bigger. Mine, I put a smaller like that because I already cut it. But this is Asher, it's represented by the tree, actually by an olive tree. All we have to do is just, let's do the top first. Uh, for this one we have a sticky foam, okay, and you just, Take it out, or somebody to help you take it out. All right, and you place it in there. Wonderful. And then you glue. Well, I think your uh, tree. Then you have a sticky one for this one too, and we're just gonna use it like this. And then we are gonna remove the sticker from this one wonderful oh, well, my tree is a little broken here there you go and we have a share and who represents a share again Pagiel son of a crown oh my goodness we're almost done with our tribes and again we sing this song Ruben Shimeon Judah Issachar, Zebulon, Ephraim, Manasseh, Benjamin, Dan, Asher. And who's next? Who's next? Who's next? We have God, the tribe of God. Okay, here we have Dan, and we are going to flip your flag in here. And, well, let's pretend that this is a sand. Some of you have a sand that is thicker some thinner I make mine mine I made it like this so let's let's do this oh let's do this okay very sticky so we just put it here on the bottom and it's represented by God God um, a tribe of ten go ahead we stick it here in the middle represents the everywhere they travel they encamp around the place um, then we put the uh, well this is supposed to be like the strings um, I'm gonna do it like like this let's pretend that this is the strings here on the 
uh, sand or whatever place they encamp. Here it is. We have it here. There you go. We have a um, like the nail. Put it right here. There you go, like this, and then we have another nail here, and there you go, you have the tribe of God. And we're gonna place it here on the side because I believe that we have one more to go. Now let's sing our song, let's see if you know the song, and at the end, you challenge, uh, You maybe you can play a game with challenge with your friends, family, your teachers. Um, okay, let's do this. Reuben, Shimon, Judah, Issachar, Zebulon, Ephraim, Manasseh, Benjamin, Dan, Asher, God, and Alas. Oh, Bob, I forgot to tell you who is the representative of God. It's Eliasaf, son of the well. All right, so now we have our last one. But not least, we have the tribe of Naphtali. So what do we have for Naphtali? So here we have Naphtali. What do we have for Naphtali? You have in your bag here. We have a deer. Okay, let's take everything from our bag and let's see how we're gonna build this deer. Okay, what do we have in here? Let's see, we have this beautiful shape here. We have the ears. Yeah, let's put it like this. Let's put this ear like um, this. There you go. And then we have the big horn. Well, they actually, oh, you have to put it lower like this. They look like shofars, actually. They look like big shofars. Uh -huh. So you put it like this, right? There you go. And okay, and, okay, this is how it's going to look. What do we do? We're gonna put the nose on the deer. You have a sticky nose. And uh, let's go ahead and take everything out of the all the stickers so we can uh, place it here. There you go, put it as low as, as you can because of the uh, horns. You can see the horns here, okay. Okay, so make sure that you put it on the bottom so that way you have space for the horns. And go ahead, take um, take out the, the ears, put the long ears. Some of them are shorter, but yeah, it's cute. Here, there you go are the ears for the deer that represents the tribe of Naphtali. There you go. And um, now let's put the horns. Now you can put the horns if you want. You can't put them like they're facing each other or they're just looking out like that. You can do that too. Or they're facing each other. Let's try to the deers they, they have different shapes. Um you see of course don't cross them. Uh, you can put it like this, see? Like this on the side. I'm gonna put it like this. Okay, I already played some with other camera, sorry. Uh, okay, uh, there you go. And now with the glue I am gonna just glue my googly eye. Don't worry about how big you see the 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 white dot is in there. Don't worry about it. Ah, uh, there you go. You have the tribe of Naphtali, and we finished with our tribes. You did a great job. If you did it with me, okay. Let's see. Okay, you ready for the song? Reuben, Shimon, Judah, Issachar, Zebulon, Ephraim, Manasseh, Benjamin. Dan, Asher, God, and Naphtali. You did it! Now practice your song of your own. Stop the video and see who knows the song. All members of your family knows the song. This is a great game. And actually you can play 
around uh, winning a prize, I don't know, a cookie or a coin or just the prize. You're the winner, okay? So let's hear another song one more time. Ruben, Shimeon, Judah, Issachar, Zebulon, Ephraim, Manasseh, Benjamin, Dan, Asher, God, and Naphtali, or oh, Naphtali. Great, now let's work on our troops and let's see how they're going to be located. Where's the location of all the tribes around the tabernacle? Okay, so let's see how the formation of the tribe. And we have on the eastern side, which is going to be on the front of the tabernacle, we have three of the tribes. We have on the east side, we have Yehuda. Yehuda right here, the lion cup on the front. Let me put the tarnacle towards back. Then we have Issachar. Issachar, remember Issachar, the one who studied the times and the seasons. This is on the eastern side. Okay, and then we have Sebulon. Great, awesome. So we have this one. It's raining. and it's... Okay, here on the eastern side, we have Yehuda, Issachar, and Sabilon. And now let's go to the south. So we have on the south, we have Reuben, Shimon, and God. So let's place them. So we have Reuben, we have Shimon, and we have God. Okay, here we have God. Let's put it towards. That will be the left side. If you look at it from the front, okay. Now let's remove this one from here. Let's see what is the other try. Which one is going to go on the west? That's going to be on the back, actually. We have Benjamin right here. Benjamin. We have Ephraim. Ephraim on the back. And Manasseh. This is so interesting. These two represent the tribe of Joseph, right? And this one is Benjamin, the brother of Joseph. They're actually on the back side of the tabernacle. And that will be the west. It's called the west. And now we go to the north side. We have Naphtali, Asher, and Dan. So let's place them in the right order. So we go Naphtali. We have Asher. And we have Dan, that's wonderful. Look at this, now the tribes are formed around the tabernacle and ready to serve Hashem, protecting the people of Israel and serving the nation. This is the formation of the tribes. There you go, and you can see it you, if you have your tabernacle. You want this tabernacle? You can click the link also and you can find it. I will put the link for you. There you go. You have the tribes. And now, now let's count them by number. So by the tribe of Yehuda on the eastern side, we have 74,600 men. By Yisachar, 54,400. And for Se Okay, for Sebulon, we have here... 57,400 and now we are going to the south side. We have Ruben with 46,500 men. Shimon with 59,300 and God with 45,650. Wow! Now we're going to go to the west side and here we have Benjamin. How many people have Benjamin? 35,400. And Manasseh, 32,200. And Ephraim, 40,500. Whoa. And we are quickly moving towards, oh, we have here on the uh, northern side, we have Naphtali with 53,400. Asher with 41,500. And Dan with 62,700. A total of 
shall be no wrath upon the assembling of the children of Israel. The children of Israel did everything that Hashem commanded Moshe. So did they do. Wonderful. I hope you got a great Shabbat. And Thank you so much for participating and I want you to remember one thing. If you don't remember anything of this class, I want you to remember one thing and it's that you are important. Hashem Count on you. Hashem meets you in his army to fight the good fight. And you know what? To be part of the great, great, great army that will witness his presence on earth. Hashem brought you here to this earth with purpose. And you are important regardless of what anyone says. Your friends, your family, even your own self. What's the most important is what Hashem wants of you. Each one of us, every human being, to prepare, to prepare as one of His. I want you to always remember this. Hashem needs you. Hashem counts on you. And I want you to have a great Shabbat and remember the song. And come on, put your banner representing one of the children of Israel among us around the tabernacle. Have a great Shabbat. Shabbat Shalom. And I see you on the next Parsha. Parsha Nassau. Shalom.